dense tropical forest. She sat up and listened. And that's when she heard the sound of trickling water. She remembered his tip that following water would lead you to people. So that's what she did. Hardly able to see anything without her glasses, and with only one shoe, she limped and crawled along the stream, which eventually became a river, for over 200 hours. She had to put her one-shoed foot tentatively forwards each time to avoid the jungle's many thorns and fangs. The only food she had was a single bag of sweets she'd found after the crash. The temptation to give in must have been enormous, but she kept going, dragging herself along one metre at a time. After a week or so, one of her wounds became infested with maggots, but she kept going and was eventually able to get them out by dousing them in petrol she found in a hut used by loggers. Ultimately, it was those loggers who found her, semi-conscious in their hut, and were able to take her on the ten-hour boat trip to the nearest village. In the years afterwards, Julianne became a biologist, specialising in Peruvian bats and working in a zoological library in Munich. In 2010, she published a memoir. In an interview around publication, she said, I had nightmares for a long time, for years, and of course the grief about my mother's death and that of the other people came back again and again. The thought, why was I the only survivor, haunts me. It always will. The question of why she survived haunted Julianne. It was a kind of guilt. But later it was reported that 14 other passengers survived the fall to the jungle floor, strewn widely over a massive area, but didn't make it out, although this is a topic of some debate. So the question takes on another, more literal quality for me. Why her? What was different about her? What she was able to do, after the initial look that gave her the opportunity, was to prioritise, utilise specific knowledge and fundamental principles and apply them to her situation in a flexible way. She didn't freeze. She remembered one piece of crucial advice, prioritised correctly, was adaptable, and then didn't let anything stop her, task by task, inch by inch.